Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and the final one for the day. We've been doing quite a few today, in fact I don't know which ones you've seen, but uh, today we're going to continue if, with the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. We've got number 91, Frank Tarkenton. Which means once we finish this one, we've got 90 to go! So uh, let's crack into it. Frank Tarkenton, born February 3rd, 1940, as <laughs> a former quarterback. Look at him! There he is! He looks like Willy Wonka! Um, as a former National Football League quarterback, television personality, well, I, I, I could see that, and a computer software executive. He played in the NFL for 18 seasons! Spent the majority of his career with the Minnesota Vikings. Holy shit, man! He's 78, 6 foot, he went in the third round of the NFL draft in 1961 at pick number 29. And in the AFL draft he got picked as well. I don't quite know how that works. Um, let's have a look. The Minnesota Vikings drafted Tarkenton in the third round of the 1961 NFL draft. And he was picked up in the fifth round of the 1965-61 AFL draft. He signed with the Vikings at the age of 21. The league would later hold an expansion draft for the Minnesota Vikings expansion franchise. Because another league was in competition for the class of 1961 college stars, the American Football League draft for 1961 graduates was held in 1960 with a six round telephone draft on November 21st and 22nd. Okay. They were able to draft from... So he had to just choose, did he? Tarkenton, 21, played his first National Football League game and the Vikings' first ever game on September 17th against the Chicago Bears, coming off the bench to lead the Vikings to a come-from-behind victory by passing for 250 yards and four touchdowns and running for another. The Vikings defeated the Bears 37-13. He was the only player in NFL history to pass for four touchdowns in his first NFL game until the feat was repeated by Marcus Mariota in the Tennessee Titans 2015 season opener versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alright, that's enough. Frank Tarkenton, let's go. My dad started out as a general reporter with the Minneapolis Star and he got to cover the Vikings for many, many years. I would get to go even at age eight. I was going to uh, the games with my dad and even younger, Fran Tarkington. It was probably the first name I ever learned in football. Oh, Frank. Fran Tarkington was really the first model of the mobile quarterback. He would just go all around, run That's all it. around and play in a different way. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm loving it. I always thought of him as the scrambler, the guy that was always running back and forth on the field and we'd watch him. Oh, behind his back! There. He's going down the middle. I like that. He also was a very smart guy and someone that was just in a little different mold than the other quarterbacks. Oh, I love it! It just made him different. I love it! Much more exciting. Remember a funny story about one of the Viking players, Grady Alderman? One of the opposing players was down on the field and he tried to tackle Tarkington three times in one play. And so he finally was giving up. He's laying down, wheezing on the field, and Alderman looks at him and says, What are you doing? He's still out running. <laughs> and the, the guy says, Well, I'm just waiting. He'll come back here at one point. <laughs> As quarterback of the expansion Minnesota Vikings, Fran Tarkington's escape act was born out of self preservation. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to get hit. <laughs> Tarkenton's improvisational style thrilled the fans, but irritated Minnesota oh, no school way. head coach Norm Van Brocklin. Van Brocklin didn't like when Tarkington would sometimes go off on his own when it was third down. And in fact, my dad remembers Van Brocklin telling Tarkington, third and eight is no time to get creative. Vikings eventually traded Tarkenton to the cellar-dwelling Giants. Oh, 
Oh! Ah, oh, yes! The draw and pass, we call that in rugby. Help New York regain respectability. Tarkenton was traded back to Minnesota, where he finished his career having thrown more passes for more yards and more touchdowns than any quarterback in league history. Despite his record numbers, one accomplishment continually eluded the elusive Tarkenton. We played in the big game and we lost all three times that I quarterbacked. I have never gotten over that. I never have a day go by that I don't regret not being able to do something more to help my team win a Super Bowl. We don't look at quarterbacks as being worth very much if they're not only a Super Bowl winning team, but we you know, went to three Super Bowls in seven years and won six division championships, and I was proud to be a part of that. And so you should, buddy. I think greatness is more than just being great yourself. It's being able to make other people great and making a team great. And that was something that Fran Harkington did. We have to remember those players that played for a good team. Fran, I thought it was Frank. The Super Bowl. When he left the league, he was the all-time record holder of every passing record there was. So that alone puts him in the top 100. Wow. Go, Fran. always remember that number 10 with that purple jersey trying so hard, running back and forth across that field, doing everything just to win that game. And it will be a memory that I will take forever. Mr. Scramble is what I'll call him. Thanks for the memories, Fran. Love it. Every time I'm in line and I see some hype. Love it. But you know what? Kurt Warner is going to have to wait, guys, because that's it for today. So I want to say, if you have enjoyed this video, if you want to support me and the channel and its growth, hit the like button. It really means a lot. If you want to subscribe, do that too. And I will see you soon. Peace out, everybody.